Well, thanks to medical and technological advances, conditions that were once treated with painful surgeries with long recovery times can now be treated through just a small incision. Image-guided surgery has a minimal recovery time, and it's used to treat a variety of conditions like fiber tumor, tumors rather, and carotid artery disease. And it's become the go-to treatment for varicose veins. Here to fill us in, from Connecticut Image-Guided Surgery, Executive Director Dr. Mel Rosenblatt, and patient Sandra Pernetta. Thank you both for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Dr. Rosenblatt, let's start with you because you started to use image-guided techniques in the 90s. Were they used? Was that technique used for varicose veins at that time? Uh, no. Uh, image-guided techniques were used to treat a lot of conditions, as you mentioned, but they weren't used to treat varicose veins until the very late 90s with some newer techniques were developed to minimally invasively treat problems that required extensive surgery. So this really has progressed into what you consider the, the best and the most logical treatment. Currently, this, these type of procedures are the state of the art in terms of treating patients, yes. So let's talk about you and your story and how you came to need this. You had gone to a couple of doctors beforehand, right? I did. I actually went to uh, three doctors, three local doctors. I have a family history of it. It's on my father's side. Um, and after the birth of my first child, it became a condition that I wanted treated um, and I ended up my fourth doctor was Dr. Rosenblatt and um, I was just very comfortable with both Catherine Burge and Dr. Rosenblatt and the procedure and it was something new and different and I give it a shot. Were you in pain with your condition at the time? I was. I had um, at the end of the day I taught for about 16 years so at the end of the, at the, end of the day my legs would be sore, I'd have some itching, um, some discomfort. So. so they were in your legs primarily, yes. that's where you wanted yes. to get them removed. And is that typical, Dr. Rosenblatt, of, of pain associated with the varicose yeah. veins? Yeah, varicose veins often cause pain, swelling, leg tiredness at the end of the day, especially if your profession involves you standing on your feet, as mm -hmm. Sandra's does. It really is quite a problem and very difficult for people to deal with. So Sandra, how quick was your recovery? Um, I had the surgery on a Thursday. By Monday I was back to work. That Thursday evening I was walking on a treadmill so it was... Wow, quite... that's fast. And that's traditionally how it goes. Yeah, traditionally, yes. People recover immediately. Now, I think typically we think of, of people who are older who are afflicted with varicose veins, but, but clearly you don't fit into that category. So that's not always the case. No, it's not. In fact, uh, young women are often affected, and they're the ones who will seek out medical care first. But men are affected as well. Uh, older patients clearly and uh, we've treated patients as young as 16 and 17 years of age wow. um, very often because they have unusual venous conditions that can present as lower extremity varicose veins. Yeah. Okay and you were talking about men and women I believe we have some examples some before and after pictures that yes, you brought do. with you so if we take a look at the first one and you can see what, what a difference. Right here you see some pictures along the outer aspect of the leg large diameter varicose veins clearly quite painful and after one treatment, you can see that all of that has gone away. So that's just one treatment. Is that usually what it takes or more than that? Uh, no, usually we have to do some touch-up work to take care of some of the smaller veins. But the first procedure is designed to take care of the cause of the varicoses. That's the most important thing to do. And at times, also the, the larger diameter varicoses themselves. And how painful is the treatment itself? Well, the, you know, it involves injections of local anesthetic, which is really the only painful part. And after that, there usually is very little, if any, discomfort. All right. It was second before and after. Let's take a look at that as well. All right. And this is a image, another image, as you can see, that shows large veins on the inner aspect of the leg. And uh, as you can see, the before and the after pictures, those veins are now gone. And uh, clearly, that's not a woman. So are men and women affected differently when it comes to varicose veins in terms of where they set in? Well, no. They have, the same, they have similar presentations, although slightly different uh, causes. But men usually wait much longer before they'll seek out treatment. So men will often present with very large varicose veins, and sometimes they'll present with blood clots in those varicose veins. They'll present when they're much sicker, if you would. Okay. So you see the women coming in sooner for treatment. Correct. Yeah. Okay. We have another one before and after. What are we looking at here? And here we're looking at uh, a young lady who has varicoses coming down the front of her leg. And after one treatment, you can see that those large diameter varicoses are, are gone. And the final before and after, let's pop that one up as well. Once again, this is a gentleman who came in with very large diameter varicose veins. This is a typical presentation that we see. You can see the large bulges underneath the knee. 
and after one treatment, that's, that's what that looks like. Is this what you would consider a more severe case? Yes. Uh, when you have d uh, larger diameter varicoses that are more than 10 millimeters in diameter, these patients are at risk for developing skin changes such as skin discoloration, skin ulceration, uh, and uh, even blood clots in those varicoses. So, as having had this uh, treatment done, is this something that you would recommend to other people? Absolutely. And yeah. I do all the time. So big difference for you. Yeah, absolutely. Let's give folks the information. If you want more information on the treatment of varicose veins, you can contact Dr. Rosenblatt and Connecticut Image Guided Surgery. The information on your screen right there, or you can just come to our website, WTNH.com, and click on the Connecticut style link. Sandra Pernetta and Dr. Mel Rosenblatt, thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having us.